Hi all, this is Ronnie Wink and Jenny Mary. We are both TOAs with curriculum and instruction. We often hear teachers talk about the idea of writing centers, but getting started can be a challenge. Today we are hoping to share some practical ideas that, that are easy to implement in your weekly plans. Writing is something we do every day, whether we are writing lesson plans, lists for the grocery store, text to our friends and family, or those all important emails. By the same token, we need to get kids writing and writing a lot. They should be writing every single day in some fashion, even if it's unstructured and messy. The idea is that volume is important so that they keep doing the work and practice the skills regularly. In comes the idea of writing centers. Writing centers are an excellent place for students to practice their writing and reinforce the skills they are learning in class. They don't have to be complicated or boring. By including fun and variety, you are sure to inspire creativity and confidence. The National Writing Project says, because learning to write involves practice, risk-taking, and revising, writing centers are places where students are encouraged to try out and to experiment. Removing the evaluative setting of the classroom, writers are free to engage in trial runs of ideas and approaches to fail and move on to another attempt and to receive encouragement for their efforts. This trying out can be either in the form of talk as writers practice formulating ideas aloud or in writing. In addition, centers serve to model classroom expectations while engaging students. Activities can either be independently self-directed, leaning on student choice, or they can be teacher-directed, stemming from a mini lesson. In both situations, students' strengths are emphasized. Teachers are able to easily individualize instruction when using writing centers. For instance, teachers can form small groups based on the needs of the students. This opportunity both individualizes attention and pinpoints areas where several students might need more support. Ultimately, the use of writing centers facil facilitates the love of writing by giving students the confidence in their writing abilities. But we know our time is limited, so how do we incorporate writing centers into our classroom? The idea is to piggyback off of a writing unit focusing on genre writing. Our common core standards tell us that we must teach students to write in the areas of narrative, informative, and opinion, which of course leads to argumentative writing. If your centers focus on practicing writing in these areas, students can continually practice the skills you teach them. There are a variety of ways to organize writing centers. For most grade levels, the simplest way to is to design five centers that students rotate throughout every day. You can choose to structure it so that students visit one center every day, or they can choose which center to visit each day. Because our time is short and the amount of time we could feasibly allot to writing centers may not be a lot, these centers might remain intact for the entire genre writing unit, which could last three to six weeks. By the end of the unit, the students would have been practicing writing in that genre in five different centers and have five completed products. Upper grades or middle school classrooms may have less time with students. Therefore, you can choose to create four to five options for centers that you share via Google Classroom. Explain to students that they can choose two to three to complete over the course of a week or two. Give students seven to 10 minutes at the beginning of the class period to write on their choice of topic. Let's go over five examples of simple opinion and or argumentative writing centers that you can set up for your students. We will share ideas for primary, upper grade and middle school and some resources. For the first center, give students access to a variety of nonfiction books about different animals. The idea is that students will research the animals. 
it may take more than one day to research to find facts that interest them. Students are encouraged to write down all the facts they, are, they find interesting. Then write an opinion about why they like or dislike the animal using facts from the book. This does not require very much preparation. All you need are books and paper. To adapt this to younger students or middle schoolers, you could adjust the complexity of the research books. Kinder and first grade students could draw their opinions and justifications for their reasons. To encourage discourse, students can be encouraged to find a partner who likes the same animal as they do and work together, or they can find an animal who, a partner who likes a different animal and they could write a comparison piece. Collaboration is encouraged in these writing centers. For upper grade or middle school students, you could use a similar idea, researching a topic, and have students choose between creating a pamphlet, a one-pager, or a diagram about their opinions. Technology could also be integrated into the center by asking students to create a slide deck. There are many options for how to roll this out with your older students. One idea is to use a guiding question that fits with your ELA, social studies, or science unit. For example, how do we pick ourselves up when disaster strikes? For resources, you could use the collections FYI site and link articles or short videos to an assignment option on Google Classroom. This example above is from sixth grade collection three. Or to support what students are learning in social studies, you can use an essential question from the unit or topic students are studying. This example is from eighth grade topic or unit five. The second center would be a simple, would you rather activity with sentence starters. Give students choice on things that, that are relevant to them. You could use celebrities, foods, school activities, etc. One way to do this is to provide a set of cards with different choices. For example, would you rather be a babysitter or a dog sitter? These cards can be adjusted according to the grade levels. For primary students, you could have the choice of pictures, while older students could have more complex choices. Have students use their opinions to make a choice and write about it. As with the last center, students could work in pairs to write about their opinions, either agreeing or disagreeing. Or this could be a springboard for a debate with your students. With upper grade and middle school students, encourage them to use a CER response. Claim, what is your answer? Evidence to support your opinion, answer, and reasoning that explains how or why your evidence supports your claim. The third idea is to provide opinion prompts for students to think about. The prompts can be written on strips or cut up and put in a big bowl. Students will have to pick a prompt and write about it. When done, they draw a line under and pick another prompt to respond to. Students are instructed to share with partners and respond to them. Your students will be seen laughing and having a great time hearing each other's opinions. To adjust the center for primary students, you could have pictures of categories within the bowl and students write or draw about their favorite things within those categories. For example, a picture of the ocean, a present or pets, and students write about their favorite ocean animal, present they've received or their favorite animal. And of course, for middle school students, you can have age appropriate and relevant ideas for students to write their opinions about such as whether or not students should be allowed to have cell phones in class. You could call this center Convince Me, where students research a cause or idea they are passionate about and argue that point. The fourth idea for writing centers uses mentor texts. Mentor texts are books read to and with students that model what good readers and writers do, showcasing the craft involved with writing. Mentor texts can help all students at any grade level. There are so many good books for all grade levels that showcase opinions. A simple Google search will give you more titles than you could ever use. These, these are four of our favorite books to teach opinion writing. Once the book has been read to the students, you can put that book in the center. For this particular center, you will have to teach students the format of writing letters. The idea is for them to write a persuasive letter based on the story in the center. 
For example, in the story, I Wanna Iguana, a child does all sorts of crazy things to convince his parents to buy him an iguana. To piggyback off this, your students could write a letter to someone about something they really wanted and convince the person to get it for them. Since the idea here is to have students write letters, it might be a good idea to provide a graphic organizer to scaffold the writing. Or for younger students, you could provide them with a letter writing template. An anchor chart for letter writing would also be a good reference. The fifth idea for writing centers is to provide a few mystery boxes with objects in the box. Each box would have a hole in it for students to stick their hands in, feel the item, and guess what's inside. Then students would write an opinion about what they think is inside the box using adjectives to describe what they feel and why they think it is that. They should discuss their opinions within their group. This is another great center for discussion and laughing with your students. The items within the box could be adjusted based on your students' developmental levels and interest. One note here, be aware that you may have some students who are fearful about putting their hand in a box without knowing what's inside. We do not want to associate writing with negative emotions. So in this situation, have the students partner up with another student who feels confident and they can describe the item to them using adjectives and they can write their opinion about what they think it is together. At the end of the centers, your students will have lots of writing, five pieces at least, and some repeats. Students will need a place to keep their writing, such as a writing folder or a composition book. You don't want to be collecting writing every day, especially since students will be finishing their writing projects at different times. Now that you have all of this writing, there's no way you could possibly look at it all or be expected to read and assess each piece of writing if they're writing every single day. Rather, at the end of the week or several weeks of centers, give them a post-it note or two and let them choose which piece or pieces you want they want you to read. You give feedback on that piece of writing. They get to choose which gives them ownership in their writing. The last thing we want to share with you on this topic is about the magic of the author's chair. Author's chair is when you give time for students to share their writing with the whole class. In the perfect world, giving time for author's chair would happen every day. However, we know that sometimes there's just not enough time in the day. So here are a couple of ways to incorporate this practice when, when time is an issue. You could have students share what they wrote that day with their team members using round robin. You could have them share with their shoulder or face partner. You could also set aside some time on Fridays, maybe 10 to 15 minutes to hold space for author's chair where students could read any of their writing from the week or even previous weeks. Whatever way you do this, it is really a great way to create an authentic audience for your young writers. There you have it. These are just some ideas for centers and by no means the only ones. The idea is just to get your kids writing every single day with a purpose. If you would like any other ideas for centers for different genres, please, please reach out so we can collaborate. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.